All right, I got a suggestion from one of my subscribers to not do the testing at 12 volts for these car situations, because if your car is running, you're going to be uh, able to have a voltage up in that uh, 13, 7, 13, 8 volt range, and maybe that'll uh, improve the output on these QC 3.0 chargers. So the first one I tested is the one here from Ilun, I guess that's how you say it. So let me show you what happens. So here's the setup here. I'll show you we got half charged pack in the hub. Got this shut off. Got my meter set up. I'll turn this on. Get up into that 13.7, 13.6 range. We'll watch what happens here. So watch that watts in the upper right. It looks like you get about 25 watts out of this particular QC 3.0 charger. Now let's try this LMAV1. Alright, got the same setup. Got the LMAV1 in there. We'll turn, plug it in here. See what happens. Yeah, all, both up there about 24, 25 watts, so they both work. Alright, I thought the best thing to do would be to take a dead battery. So I got one in here. Push a little button here. I've already drained it down. I'm going to test each one of these using the 13.7, 13.8 voltage to start with. And then I'm going to use my little uh, tester and we'll count down the amount of time it takes to completely fill the battery. So what I'll do is I'll turn this source off. I'm going to plug in the first one. I'll plug in the tester. I'll plug in the hub. I'm going to turn on the source. And we'll watch it come up. I'm going to reset the timer. There we go. All right, we got the watts are climbing up there. Now, over the course of the test, you know, it's not going to probably stay necessarily all the way up in that mid-20 watt range the whole time. But, so the way these uh, this USB digital tester works is as we're recharging here, it's keeping track of the time down on the bottom. And then when the battery is fully charged, it'll shut off. But then I can start the uh, this little device back up and I can see how long it took to recharge, which is kind of what... Our goal is here, if we can recharge with a higher wattage input, then uh, it should take less time to recharge a depleted flight battery. Alright, we'll do that on this first one, and then I'll switch over to the uh, LMAV one. It's been a little over half an hour. It's charging up at 24.7 watts rate. 
clipping along good here. All right, we're fully charged. <clears throat> Took an hour and 11 minutes, it looks like. 22.5 watt hours. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna drain this particular pack back down again, and then we'll recharge it with the LMAB and see how long it takes. All right, just got finished discharging this pack. Now we're going to uh, totally recharge it with this LMAB Dual QC 3.0 card charger. Plug that in. Plug in my little tester. It's good, sitting at 13.7. Charging started. All right, just got it started here. It looks like it's not doing the full 25 watts. We're at 13.7. I'll just tweak that a little bit. And I'm going to restart it. So I think it does the negotiation right when you start. So if you don't, whatever it gets set at, that's kind of where it stays. See it kind of climbing up there, the watts on the upper right. The amps are increasing. There we go. All right, that's what I was kind of expecting, though so you kind of learn there. You have to kind of start from a dead start. It'll go up, and I think that's where it'll hold. Got the timer going. It's been a minute, 18, and we'll let it run. Talk to you in a bit. All right, just doing a quick check here. You can tell by that amp volt there. <clears throat> we're probably not at the 25 watt level anymore. It's been 50 minutes, and he's at 16 watts, so... That's giving us a little bit of information. We'll see how long it goes. Pretty good chance though it's going to be a, a longer charge time than the last uh, device. Well, looks like this one's fully charged up. That one took an hour and uh, 11 minutes. 22.39 watt hours. Interesting. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.